Okay, y'all, I just left the ball field. I'm back in my hometown of Brandon, Mississippi, and just left my granddaughter's ball game. Excuse the lighting, I'm in my car. But um, while I'm in town, I just thought I've got to run in my favorite decor store. Other than Hobby Lobby, I will say it's right up there with Hobby Lobby. So, y'all, if you have a Home Goods anywhere near you, that's the store to shop for home decor. It's my go-to place. I love it. It's not going to break the bank. I know it's getting late. I'm an hour and a half away from home, but while I'm in town, I got to run in home goods. I'm but first, let me show you what I'm trying to do. This wall in my bathroom is just blank. So I went on Marketplace and found this cute little farmhouse looking shelving unit for, believe it or not, $20. I mean, the wood's worth that. So here we go. I've got to find decor for this bathroom. Just little knickknacks here and there to fill up the shelves. So what I'm trying to do in my guest bathroom is make this bathroom inviting to my guest. Um, everything else in my house is pretty traditional. Um, my guest bathroom, I'm gonna do it, I guess you'd say a little more trendy because I try to think of my guest and have it be inviting for them. So I'm looking for baskets, just little trays, jars, candles. And what I plan to do is just, you know, have little glass containers and things to house everything they would need for an overnight stay at my home. Everything from Q-tips to makeup remover, you know, floss, all that. Here we are in my favorite section, the pillows and home goods. Y'all, if you don't have a home goods near you, I would suggest that when you travel, if you're going on a vacation, search the town you're in, the surrounding towns, and look for a home goods. You won't be disappointed. I love the pillows and home goods. If I could, I would change my pillows out monthly if I didn't think my husband would divorce me over it. So, of course, I'm joking. But I really do love pillows that much. And I just, you know, you can just change so much in a room with paint and pillows. That's, you know, it's, it's an easy fix to just change the look of a room. You can change a room from season to season with, with your pillows and just change up your decor a little bit. The other thing they have a great deal on are usually photo frames. Uh, Y'all, I love Hobby Lobby. But Hobby Lobby's expensive unless you, you know, hit their 40% off sale. I loved it when they used to have the coupons, but they don't do that anymore. So Home Goods, you know, they don't do coupons and they don't do sales very often. But I think their prices are pretty reasonable. Now, of course, they're going to have some things in the store that, you know, I'm usually in sticker shock when I walk in a store in general this day and time because everything's high to me. I'll also show you at the end of this video just a few little knickknacks that I found recently at Dirt Cheap, believe it or not. I should have zoomed in on the prices on the mirrors to let y'all see. I wish I had done that. But they had a great selection, and this one right here I wanted to take home with me, maybe next trip. Okay, y'all, so I'm back home. And I didn't get a whole lot on my trip to Home Goods this time, but I was looking for specific things for my guest bathroom. I did get some wash rags. I did get some cute little uh, black and white little hand towels. These cute little picture frames that were real reasonable. I got this one little, one little plant here. Probably paid a little more for, for it than I normally would, but I thought it was cute. Got the little glass container that I'm not sure quite yet what I'll put in. And then I got this little book rack, magazine rack. Not quite sure how I feel about that yet, if I'm going to keep it or not. And I got these two little baskets thinking that they would work on my shelving unit. But I'm going to learn to take my small little measuring tape with me. Because if I had had my measuring tape in my purse, I would have known that these were too wide 
for this little shelving unit that's gonna go on the wall. So even though both of these baskets are cute and I thought they were pretty reasonably priced, they're both gonna have to go back along with several other things that you know I've bought over the course of the past week or so. Y'all, I found this really cute black and white rug in this diamond pattern for $19.99 at Home Goods. I think that's a real reasonable price. I really like it. I wanted two of these, one for the toilet area and one to go in front of the vanity, but I could only find this one in this pattern. I ended up getting the second one in this little bit of a different pattern. It was $19.99 also. I think it'll look cute, you know, having them mismatched. I'm still on the hunt for this other rug though because I really like it. So I'm gonna check out like TJ Maxx and Ross and maybe I'll find, you know, a second one. If not, I think they'll both look fine together. So y'all, when I left Home Goods that night, my plan was to run in Hobby Lobby, but they were already closing. So I ran in TJ Maxx and I'm so glad I did because I found these nice plush white towels for the guest bathroom for eight dollars a piece then i found these cute little shower hooks thought that was a good price for 7.99 and a couple of candles i wish y'all could smell this vanilla bean it was 7.99 and this coconut flower for four dollars it smells so good they always have really great deals on candles and soaps and Really, you know, TJ Maxx just has great deals on everything. Picture frames, plants, you name it. And found this cute little tray at TJ Maxx and some potty spray. Don't want your guests to be embarrassed when they go to the bathroom, so. And I found this black and white shower curtain at TJ Maxx, y'all. And $19.99, it's a little pricier than I normally spend on a shower curtain, being that the one I have hanging right now came from Dirt Cheap for $4. But I can't wait to get this one hung and show it to y'all. Also, I found these little glass jars in Target the other day. When you walk in and they have specials up front, they had these two for $5. I already have one of them filled with soaps from my husband's business trips. He brings these home from his hotel stays. So my plan is to put uh, like uh, salt, bath salts in the other one. And this is from my Ross trip, really good price on picture frames. Uh, that one was $3.99, the other one's $4.99. And then these little wooden trays, I think they were $4.99 each. So these are actually the right width for my shelving unit. So the other trays and the other baskets I've bought, they'll be going back. And the last thing I'm gonna show you from Ross is this cute little metal black trash can that I found for $8.99. I thought that was a great price for a trash can. I'd been looking for a metal one and I'm so glad I ran in Ross that night. And y'all, I've got just a couple more things I'm gonna show you from my dirt cheap trip and then I'm gonna wrap this video up. And believe it or not, I found this lamp at Dirt Cheap for $4. I paid $2 for the lampshade and $2 for the lamp itself. And y'all, it's ceramic. So that's a pretty good deal. Uh, I also found these cute little pumpkins. They're ceramic also. They're kind of heavy. I'll put them away until fall and put them out for fall decor but I paid $1.50 a piece for these little pumpkins and this little canister. I'm sure I'll find something to use it for. It was $1.50 at Dirt Cheap. So all in all, this was about $8.50 at my Dirt Cheap haul. And the shower curtain that I told you that I'm replacing, this was a Dirt Cheap find. Y'all, my daughter found this for me at Dirt Cheap for $4. It's actually a Target brand. It's Threshold. And it's a really nice shower curtain. Uh, I just wanted something a little different. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, except that I want it to go with the black and white stripe in the bathroom. And right after we moved in, I found this cute wreath at Dirt Cheap. I think I might've paid $10 for it, but it's way cheaper 
than what you would have paid at any other store. And y'all, I almost forgot this little vase that I found in that same trip to Dirt Cheap. I think I paid $4 for it. So I know not everybody has a Dirt Cheap in their area. We have a really great one in Hattiesburg. So if you're ever in the Hattiesburg area, check one out. I think I've told you guys that I've just pretty much used all of my old stuff from my previous home. And I've repurposed and reused so many things like these old dark candlesticks. Uh, they were from like early 2000s, that old Venetian dark, you know, stain. And I just painted it with some chalk paint, went back over it with some gold leaf and just freshened it up. I did put it on this new little tray that I found from Home Goods. Same thing with this photo frame. It was a dark, you know, dark wood. I just painted it with some chalk paint and I think I toned it down, actually rubbed some coffee grounds on it to, you know, just give it a little bit of a different look. So that's one reason I'm so excited to be doing this guest bathroom in my next video for y'all. Uh, finally getting some new stuff, y'all. Same thing with this candlestick here. I think my daughter was throwing it out. It was a turquoise color. Just paint it with some white chalk paint. Put it on this new little tray that I did get from Home Goods and put it with this uh, little vase that I also found at Home Goods. So, y'all, that next video is coming up real soon, and I hope you'll stay tuned. I hope to have it out within the next two weeks. So, God bless everyone until next time when we take on decorating the guest bathroom. Thank you.